So the question is, full frame. Can you actually tell a difference between a full frame versus micro four thirds versus a one inch sensor versus an APS-C size sensor? Well, that's coming right up. So as some of you know, I did get the Sony Alpha 7S III camera, beast of a camera, 4K, 120 frames per second, 422 10-bit video. I mean, it's a beast of a camera. But a friend of mine asked me, hey, can you really tell the difference? Is it really worth the investment from full frame to these other cameras? And I figured, well, you know what? Let's just do a little blind test. So what I did was I took all these cameras, I took the Sony a7S III, took the ZV-1, took the Canon M50, and took the uh, Lumix G7, put them in their flattest color profile. Now the Alpha 7S III and the ZV-1 is an S-Log3. The M50 is in CineStyle, and then I believe it's uh, decent alike on the Lumix G7. So what I've done is I put these in random order for you. So what you're gonna see is a flat color profile out of all these cameras. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to name them A, B, C, and D. And then I'm going to re-show you these with a conversion LUT put on it that's going to take it and convert it back to a Rec. 709. So give you an opportunity to see the difference. Now, if you pixel peep, and for those of you that do have the Sony Alpha 7S III, you're going to be able to tell which one's which. But for the average consumer, can you tell the difference? So let's get to those video clips and then I'll share with you at the end which was which.
So some interesting results with that. So like I said, those that know will know. But what I'll do is I'll list them right over here, which camera was which so that you could actually see and maybe rewind back to the video and see if you can tell the subtle differences between these cameras. Full frame, yeah, there is definitely a difference, especially when you're shooting at 10-bit 422. If you, by the way, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It does help out this channel a lot, especially with that whole YouTube algorithm stuff. And if you'd like to see some more content around the Sony Alpha 7S III, definitely comment below and I'd be more than happy to share some more content around this amazing camera because it does have some amazing abilities. And speaking of amazing abilities, don't underestimate the Sony ZV-1. This little guy is a powerhouse. It goes with me everywhere. This is my running gun camera. And what I mean by running gun, it is my definitely my B cam for a lot of stuff. And even my A cam in some certain situations that I've shot before for client work. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber here, hey, welcome to the family. Consider subscribing. Check out my playlist below. I've got a lot of action camera stuff and dash cameras. And basically, if it's got electricity running through it, I'll review it. And as always, remember, I'll catch you in the next review. Bye-bye.